It was a day like any normal day. I woke up like a normal human being, yawned a little bit, and then I reached out to my phone to see what I was supposed to- Oh no, it's time to make a video. So I had to get out of bed really quick, ran to the bathroom to, you guessed it, brush my teeth. You might be wondering why I am in such a rush. Well, it's because I want to say something to you in five, four, three, two. <sighs> Congratulations. If you are watching this video, I assume that you have made it through the web-based interview and have scheduled your phone interview. Honestly, I'm very proud of you. You're gonna get through this. You are almost there. It's so close, you can taste it. This will be the last thing that you have to do. And then after that, you will know whether or not you've made it into the DCP. Just in case you don't know what DCP is for some reason and you're watching this video, it stands for Disney College Program. For those of you who don't know, my phone interview was at 6 a.m. in the morning. I know, it's really fun. Florida time is three hours ahead from California, which is where I live. So on that day, I had work at 8 a.m. in the morning. So basically, I got in my car, drove all the way to work, and just sat in my car and waited for the interview to start. The reason why I picked that time slot was because I was gonna go out of the country for a vacation, and that was pretty much the only time slot that was available that would work for me. It was pretty much an unconventional experience. When people talk about their phone interview, it's usually something that's very planned out. For me, it was a little bit chaotic. Before we move on, if you are interested in participating in the Disney College program, or if you just like Disney and theme parks in general, give this video a like. And if you are feeling extra special, go ahead and click that red subscribe button down below. It's gonna be fun. I will be there for the fall. Advantage 2023 program. So if you want to meet up with me, let me know in the comments below. My first thing that I will say is that make sure you schedule at least a time frame that's 30 minutes before or after the scheduled time. You have no idea what their timeline is. It is possible that they can call you earlier or later than your scheduled time. Be sure to be prepared for that. Make sure that you double check your time zone. Make certain that you know what the interview time is for you. You definitely don't want a situation where you get all nice and ready and then realize that, oh no, the interview time has already passed. That would be bad, right? The next thing that I would say is make sure you have your resume ready and any other documents that you think that you might need during the interview, make sure that you have it with you. They will definitely ask you about your past work experiences. So make sure you have those so that you can talk about them easily. Also, it is very important to think about what kind of roles you want. I know there isn't an option to list what your top three roles are when you're doing the application, but they will ask you about your top three roles during the interview. So just keep that in mind. My top roles were character performer, character attendant, and photo pass. And I think I did say that. I also had a fourth one just to be sure. And that was wardrobe. I did tell my interviewer that. So that was nice. And I honestly don't know how common it is, but they did ask me about lifeguarding. It is a role that heavily relies on safety. And if you are not comfortable doing it, it's better to just tell them that maybe at this moment you are not comfortable being a lifeguard. If you are open to the possibility of doing it in the future, then you can also let them know that. For Disney, safety is very important to them. So work that into your answers as much as possible. Show them that you value safety. I mean, as a human being, you should generally err on the safety side. So what should you do during the interview? I recommend having a note-taking device right next to you when you're doing the interview. Pen and paper is usually the best. You can never go wrong with pen and paper, though I think the notes app on your phone can also work. Take notes and don't ask them about something that they've already told you because it shows that you weren't really listening. And along with that, make sure you write down the interviewer's name. Disney is really big on making connections with people. And whenever you wanna connect with somebody, it is really important that you know their name. We are really bad at remembering people's names. So write down your interviewer's name. I still remember mine. And you are gonna thank yourself later. If you didn't quite catch the interviewer's name the first time around, don't be afraid to ask them again. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. Can you repeat it again? Don't forget to smile. Let me repeat that. Don't forget to smile. It might seem ridiculous, 
I get it. But I do think that a smile on your physical face translates over the phone. It will certainly help you with your tone or even your mood as well. Just, you know, have a smile like this when you're on the phone and you will instantly sound a lot more bubblier. Have you ever heard about the Superman pose? So there's this thing where if you are nervous, it helps to stand like this. People call it the Superman pose because it can actually help with your nerves. A smile is the same way when it comes to boosting your bubbliness and you definitely want to be bubbly when you're talking on the phone with Disney. I mean, come on, think about it. I'm sure you will be really nervous, so channel that energy into a smile. You can definitely tell when a person is smiling on the other side of the phone. Don't try too hard to sound professional because you can come across as monotone. Talk to them like they're a friend or a really cool teacher. You definitely, 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 de definitely. De want to be professional, but don't try too hard to sound professional. There's a distinction. The first few questions will be mostly about the information that you have already given them on your application. Things like your name, your date of birth, your current place of residence. If there's anything wrong with that information at all, make sure you let them know. They thought that I was a senior at college, but I had actually graduated at the time of the interview. I corrected them and they were like, okay. If any of the information that they repeat back to you seems off, let them know. On the point of being accurate, it is better to talk than it is to talk super fast. If you come out of the gate speaking really fast, but you're ultimately speaking nonsense, it's not gonna work. <laughs> so with every question that they ask you, take the time to really formulate your answers in your head, especially when it comes to questions like, has there ever been a time where you has helped out a child or has there ever been a time where you have worked with a team? Don't be afraid to just step back and think about your answers. I went, let me think about that for a moment. And then as long as you don't take too long, it's not gonna be a problem. Allow yourself some time to think. You're nervous. They probably know that you're nervous. They're gonna be understanding of that. Don't be bashful. Don't be modest. If there is a time for you to sell yourself, now would be it. If you have done something at your previous jobs that you are really proud of, let them know that. That's what they're looking for. If you have never worked a job before, think about school. What have you done at school that you are really proud of? Don't be afraid to sell yourself. You have done great things and you should be proud of them. At the end of your interview, they will ask you if you have any questions to ask them. Make sure you have at least a question to ask them back. I think two is ideal. I did too. Think about what you are genuinely curious about, what you want to find out. I think one of my questions was, do you think I would survive without a car down there? <laughs> because I was actually thinking about whether or not I should drive down there. Or I wanted to find out about Flamingo Crossing. So I asked my interviewer if she has ever been in there, what does she think of it? If you have any questions about the program at all, now would be the best time to ask them because you are asking a human on the phone. Do you have questions about parking or blockout dates or whatever? Ask them, don't be afraid. Ask them if they have ever participated in the DCP, what their favorite rides are, what their least favorite rides are at Disney, you know? Overall, I will say just have fun with the process. Yes, you are nervous. Yes, it is an interview, but it shouldn't stop you from having fun with the process. And I think if you're having fun, the recruiter is gonna be able to tell. Book a ticket to a movie, reserve a spot at your favorite restaurant because you deserve it. You just did the interview. Have something for you to look forward to after the interview so that you can keep it in the back of your head. It will help mitigate that nervousness. So that was all of my advice that I could think of. If you have any questions at all, be sure to leave them down in the comments. Or you can also DM me on my Instagram at I am Finn Ho. I will make sure to get back to every single question that you ask me. And if you have made it this far into the video, make sure you leave this video a like. And if you're feeling extra nice, subscribe to my channel. My name is Finn Ho. Good luck with your web-based interview. Wait, no. My name is Finn Ho. Good luck with your phone interview and I will see you at Disney. Have a magical day.